Hey guys, it's Austin from Know Your Music again. I got another review for you today. Uh, I'm going to go with another one of my favorites. Uh, I do still have a bunch of uh, big sellers to go through and uh, I've got some new music obviously that I want to get to as well. Uh, these ones are just kind of some quick little run throughs and I got some good response on the last video from this artist so I decided I'm going to go ahead and throw another one up there. Um, this one from 1992, uh, Chris Ledoux. Um, what you gonna do with the cowboy? This one <clears throat> well, it's given a big shot in the arm. Uh, this is the second album that Chris did for uh, Capitol and Liberty Records uh, in Nashville. Um, the fifth track on here, uh, Duet with Garth Brooks, was actually his highest charting single. So that was kind of uh, something that helped the sales of this album, which I think uh, did end up making it to uh, gold. Um, the This album's a little bit of a uh, he, he, he sort of described his music as uh, cowboy rock and roll, uh, country soul. It, it is country music, but it's definitely a little bit more turned up in some cases. So uh, we'll go through these uh, each one and kind of give you a little bit of uh, info as to what's on these tracks. Uh, the first one, Call of the Wild, is um, definitely a, uh, a rock number. It's like a southern rock track. Um, still has the, the country flavor basically would have gotten play on country radio and uh, probably not on uh, classic rock radio obviously the dudes wearing a cowboy hat and I don't know why for some reason they just steer away from that stuff so it is definitely a country song still um, the song is uh, you know it's got some good uh, driving guitar in it and some uh, some loud drums as well um, but uh, again uh, typical with Chris there's nothing real ear piercing on here uh, it's just something that makes it fun um, the song is uh, basically just about a man who's uh, heard his call. He wants to go, uh, you know, be a be a country guy instead of living in the city, and uh, that's pretty much it. There's no uh, no language to to speak of in there, um, no innuendo or anything like that. Uh, the second track, you just can't see him from the road, um, is a uh, ballad, mostly acoustic number. Um, sort of Chris and his guitar just kind of sitting there uh, playing this one out. Um, this one is a song about uh, how the Cowboys haven't really died off yet. Uh, he just kind of, you know, he's still out there doing his thing. He's, uh, you know, working as a cowboy, riding the fences, uh, you know, makes his living in a saddle. And, um, you know, just that you can't see him from the road anymore. They're just not in the limelight as they used to be. Third track, Little Long Haired Outlaw, probably one of the hardest uh, rocking songs that Chris did. Um, since, you know, from 1972 all the way through 2005, this guy was recording music. Um, I think his last song came out in 04, actually. And um, this one definitely goes right towards the top of that list as far as rock songs go. Um, there are three guitar solos in this song. All of them are, uh, you know, very rock and roll style. Um, there's also a, a Hammond organ solo in there that's got a good whine to it. Again, nothing ear piercing though. It's it's typical. Uh, it's just country music turned up is all. Um, the song is uh, you know lyrically there's no uh, no dirty language, no innuendo or anything like that. Uh, typical with Chris. Uh, it just kind of talks about being up on stage and sort of playing the old cowboy songs like he used to do in the old rodeo numbers. And uh, every now and again he just likes to turn up the volume and, and play rock songs. Um, you know, and the, the, the little long-haired outlaw, he basically describes as somebody who lives inside of him, uh, you know, and uh, kind of breaks away from the clean-cut cowboy image that uh, the people were used to. Um, <clears throat> Making Ends Meet is another uh, sort of a power ballad type of song. It's a good country track. Um, it does have a little guitar solo in it. Uh, nothing uh, real loud, though. It talks about... Um, it gives a few different instances of stories where people have kind of gone through hard times, but they're doing what they can um, to uh, to get through. You know, they just they don't quit; they they just keep moving. Uh, so it's got a really good message to it. Um, the uh, it does touch on a uh, single mother. Uh, doesn't specify how she got there though. Um, so you know, I mean, it could be anything in that in that instance. Uh, the fifth track, like we talked about earlier, um, what you gonna do with the cowboy? Uh, this one is a typical uh, neo-traditional classic country fiddle and steel type song. Um, and Garth and Chris chain, trade uh, verses, singing back and forth with each other. Garth Brooks. Um, this one does mention, um, you know, what are you gonna do when the cowboy 
decides he wants to stay around. So I don't know if that means something along the lines of, you know, yeah, you're, he, he's not married, he spent the night, and now what are you going to do to get rid of him kind of thing? Or if it just means, you know, it could be something in, innocent and simple about, uh, you know, the, the building relationship with a, with a kind of a rodeo cowboy. Um, it uh, mentions beer drinking buddies uh, just once in there. And aside from that, uh, lyrically, uh, nothing, um, you know, unless muddy boots on the floor is kind of something that uh, you don't want to hear. I can't imagine why, though. <clears throat> Hooked on an eight-second ride is one of the other ones that's right up towards the top there of Chris's, you know, hard rock type songs. Uh, it's a song about bull riding and rodeo. And, um, you know, lyrically, it's still clean. Uh, but it, uh, you know, it can get a little bit, uh, a little bit biting, a little bit scary if you don't know about rodeo, that kind of thing. It's, um, you know, it, it's basically a uh, right in your face type of rodeo song. But again, just like Chris, there's no dirty language or anything like that in there. Um, <clears throat> I'm Ready If You're Willing is the next one. It's another good country track, a good fiddle steel type of country song, classic. Um, <clears throat> basically, uh, cowboy saying to the girl, you know, if you want to go out on a date, I'm ready. You want to, you know, go a little bit further, push this into a relationship, I'm ready. Kind of uh, alluding to the fact if uh, you want it long term, you know, whatever, marriage, uh, kids, all the whole nine yards, then uh, I'm ready to do it. Let's go ahead and do it. And aside from that, it's really, it's innuendo free um, as far as, uh, you know, if you can kind of just tell where Chris is coming from on this. He's, he's not normally one of those kind of guys that would kind of try to push uh, sexuality in his music. So it's um, lyrically, you might be able to turn it into that, but it's not uh, that type of thing. Look at you, girl. Another good power ballad there. Um, this one uh, is, um, you know, it's almost like a modern day country song, really. And uh, just talking about um, the love of his life, you know, kind of being there from the beginning. And, you know, every time he sees her in the right light, he just kind of remembers how, how she's been and how the relationship's been. It's a really good, it's a touching song. It's heartfelt and it's uh, very clean as well. Uh, Cadillac Ranch, another rocking cowboy type of song. Um, this one mentions uh, in here, uh, you know, it does have a good guitar solo in it, and it's got a good, loud, distorted guitar in it. And um, this one's got, uh, you know, it touches on uh, selling the ranch, uh, or not selling the ranch, but selling everything on the ranch and turning it into a dance club type thing. And, uh, uh, you know, obviously it does talk about having booze behind the counter and, you um, you know, kind of does talk about the girls dancing around, and uh, aside from that, that's pretty much all you're going to get on that track. Uh, everything else is very clean and smooth. Um, last song on here, Western Skies. This is an ode to his Wyoming home. Um, kind of talking about the music industry, how, you know, that the singers would all move down to Nashville and, and play down there and stay down there, and uh, Chris we would just turn down the offers and just kind of stay up in Wyoming, and, you know, he said, this is kind of where I'll just record my music from, and and uh, we'll just leave it at that. You know, he says he's got no problem with Nashville. He just thinks that being out west is, you know, better suited for his style. And again, it's it's kind of a touching tribute to the west and to Wyoming and, and the, the Rocky Mountain area as well. Uh, we know Chris spent a lot of time in Utah, and he kind of alludes to that in a lot of his tracks as well. Um, and it's, uh, you know, just a good, clean, fun song and uh, nice, uh, nice little ballad to the west. Um, and that's pretty much it on this one. Uh, good, good listen all the way through, with the exception of those uh, couple of mentions of alcohol, and it's uh, it's very fleeting. Um, something that uh, I've played in the car with the kids around before, and um, you know, it, and if you're like me, it's not like the kids are naive. You know, they know the alcohol and the cigarettes and things like that are out there. Um, what? We're, what we're trying to do with this and, and, and what, you know, what I'm hoping maybe you'll get out of this is, um, and, and all these reviews really, is, yeah, there are some things out there that you don't want to hear or that I don't want to hear. The kids don't need to hear that kind of thing. Um, but it's not, let's just shut them off and, and bl be blinding to them. This is more of a, um, you know, I want you to know that it's there. And if it's something that's, uh, you know, it, it is something that's out there. But you're not glorifying it. You're not saying, yeah, this is why I listen to this is because he's talking about alcohol or anything like that. You know, 
it's it's just a matter of knowing what's in the music and if it's something that you're going to have to explain or um, you know you're going to get that question you know dad mom why are we listening to this because I heard him say this and talk about this and or you know they get a little bit older they get to the youth age and, and they're talking about you know well is this not objectifying or glorifying or anything like that that's what we're trying to stay clear of here and uh, with this album I don't feel like and again it is just my opinion but I really don't feel like it goes to that extreme um, so uh, maybe I'm a little bit biased because I've always been a Chris Ledoux fan but um, I don't think that there's really anything in here except for the things that I mentioned that you need to steer clear of um, I hope this one helped you guys out I know this was a little bit more scattered um, just because like I said I've got sort of a, a bias here for Chris um, but again I did touch on everything that was in there it's not like I'm leaving something out to kind of give him the benefit of the doubt Chris is, he's, he's terrific this album is terrific um, uh, if you guys like what you hear uh, please like uh, subscribe comment and um, throw your requests down there in the comments or you can send them to the email at knowyourmusicnow uh, at yahoo.com you can check us out on Facebook uh, just search Know Your Music, the logo will pop up, you can click on there. Uh, we haven't been super active lately on Facebook, but uh, maybe if people start throwing some requests that way, uh, instead of the email, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll, we'll get on there a little bit more often and, and keep checking. I will get notified though, if you put a comment on there with a request, with a request it will notify me and uh, you know I want to take them. I'll, I'll definitely try to hit every request I get. Uh, again, uh, appreciate you watching and um, you know, do what you got to do as far as uh, helping me out here, liking us and uh, subscribing and all that stuff. Have a good day, guys.